Cat. It's Maximus here, this time with a little review of the Pittsburgh Pro 2-pound brass hammer. This is a Chinese-made hammer. One thing I was going to mention are two things. One, this has gotten a lot more expensive. Years and years ago, this was 20 bucks, then 25 now it's 30 bucks. They do use an epoxy for the handle retention. A little bit annoying, so if it gets loose, you got to drive it out and then put in another staple. But the epoxying does get a little bit annoying, but that's not such a big deal. The other thing... This is the type of deal that you do want to buy in store because even at 30 bucks, you know, inflation, price of materials, brass has a lot of copper in it. It's just going up. But there was very inconsistent casting. Going through them on the stores or in the store, a lot of them had just a bunch of chunking or pitting from just low quality casting around the various edges. One just had like a really big i mean a void that you can almost depress your finger into it was really kind of surprising uh so you'll um this really once again is the type of thing that you'll want to try to pick up in the store so you can get one that doesn't have a bunch of casting voids i mean none of them are perfect like this one there's just a little bit of uh yuckiness right in there right there overall pretty decent finish if you hand pick a decent one this is the pittsburgh pro and I, of course, have some other brass hammers. But I didn't have just a good old two-pound hickory handle one. The nice thing about brass hammers, why you might want them, is because brass is softer than steel. And so when you're pounding on any type of equipment, machinery, automotive, etc., it will dent aluminum, of course, but it won't be quite as bad or as severe as uh, using a steel hammer. And when you are pounding on steel, then you're not going to, you're less likely to, to dent or round out edges. And that's the whole purpose for brass hammers. This is the fact that it's a compromise between, say, a plastic hammer or a dead blow hammer and a steel hammer. Of course, when you use these, inevitably you start to get some bad mushrooming and denting. And so periodically you do need to take a belt sander to them. Uh, you can use a file, it takes a long time. You pretty much periodically take a belt sander clean up some of the mushrooming in the face and they will get lighter weight as you wear them down but that's kind of the deal is it's a hammer that you actually are intended to use to uh so much that you actually do sand and wear down the faces until the hammer gets lighter and lighter anyway there's actually in the 30 dollar range for a two pound brass hammer uh you know between 30 and 40 bucks there's actually quite a few options i think some of them are a bit better than the harbor freight and all, the Harbor Freight has a lifetime warranty. They're not going to warranty wear, but I just was looking online photos, and there's occasionally, and especially with like the cheaper castings, where the, not only were there voids on the outside, but they could be on the inside. And uh, there's been a couple where the, the brass has actually fractured, and the head comes off, so that might be handy. Where if you get them from Harbor Freight, it'd be a little bit easier to swap it out. Anyway. That's why I choose a little review of the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh Pro 2-pound brass hammer. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.